feeling overly confident. San Antonio. NBA Finals! Dude, we made it! We made it! Oh, it's like some kind of a uh, seniors reunion thing going on. This blast from the past Spurs offense. Tim Duncan looking like he took something from the fountain of youth. Tony Parker. Ooh. So it's crazy to believe. That the Spurs swept the Grizzlies. I don't want how that happened. I don't know. Either this is the weakest that the West Conference has been in a long time. In no way do I let that detract from the Golden State Warriors. But between the Lakers, absolute tanking. The Grizzlies who beat, sorry Cassidy, a weakened Thunder team. This team is super clutch. Or this is the best Spurs team I've ever seen. Hopefully the Pacers come back. I just want them to come back so badly. I am hoping that they pick up their game and it doesn't stay like that. Or else it's gonna be Spurs in the heat. That's practically the worst final ever. Going for the Spurs would be horrible. And there's no way in hell that I'm going for the heat. LeBron woke up. The Heat finally decided, okay, now we have to wake up. And they just absolutely Ruth Chris steakhouse the Indiana Pacers. If it's Spurs versus Heat, which I wouldn't mind seeing some LeBron cry. You know, I like, seriously, you guys, I figured out a multi-million dollar idea. Forget Pacquiao on pay-per-view. Just put together an hour-long special titled and containing LeBron James Cries for an Hour. Until next time, you're watching the sports room. Go Spurs, go, and light. P.S. Congratulations to our fellow sports room member, Cassidy Quinn Brettler. She is in the second round of the Less Than Famous panel, so go support her. Hopefully she can make it to the final.